Hello there, I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm Denise Rojas, and welcome to Green Power Science. Today, Dan and I, we're going to be discussing Peltier coolers and thermoelectric generators. The difference between a Peltier cooler and a thermoelectric generator, one is designed to produce heat on one side and cold on the other side. If you take a thermoelectric cooler, Peltier cooler, and you plug it into a 12-volt source, like this particular model right here, you will end up with a heating iron. It'll get very hot, it can boil water. The idea is to put a heat sink on one side. This pumps the heat from one side to the other. There are two dissimilar metals in there. All 12-volt coolers that you plug into a lighter plug-in in your car are designed around that concept. This is a thermoelectric generator. Now, thermoelectric generators are a little different on the inside, and they have a designated hot side and cold side. I also have a converter here that allows the voltage to be built up. There is a small LED light on the end of that. There are other ones that have two wires that you can hook to to charge batteries. This is a small thermoelectric generator. We are going to be using Denise's body heat. Use me. Hopefully it works. To see if we can get a usable voltage to light this LED light. So what we have is a boost converter. This particular device has an LED or light emitting diode on the end. It is designed to show that this thermoelectric generator can actually produce enough current to power this light. We are going to be using Denise's body heat on her arm right here to see what type of current we can get. So I'm going to be putting the hot side on her arm. Okay. And you can see that it lights up. Sure does. That shows you how hot someone is. Wow. You're hot. Okay. I like that. Let's see how hot I am. Uh, Put it up there. Oh. Oh, you're hot too. I'm hot too. Am I hotter? Okay, wait a minute. So Who's hotter, take... Dan? <laughs> Dan? So wait a minute. If we uh, take it off and let's just see it. So it's. Okay, good. So if you put your hand on it, what happens is there's a temperature difference. I'm not hot right now. Body heat, that temperature right there. It's pretty impressive. It sure is impressive. You can make a light light up from your body heat. We have the thermoelectric generator here and we have one of the boost converters hooked correctly and if I take my hand you can actually see the voltage build. There is a hot side and a cold side. I am simply going to put my hand on one side of it. So, oh, look at that. So right now it's jumping to 66. Six that's 5 volts. Now, this starts to drop as the device builds heat across it because the back side is starting to, Get a cool. warm, starting to warm up for my body heat. So the oh, heat's okay. transferring through, through this. So we are going to take a metal block and put it back there and act as a heat sink. And this is a larger thermoelectric generator. This one costs about 90 bucks. It has much more surface area, can produce a lot more current. Wow. They are very good for excess heat. They act as a heat pump and they pull, they convert heat into electrical current. So what can somebody do with this type of application? With a small one like this, you can actually charge small cell phones. You can, okay. you can charge laptop computers. With the larger ones, if you use the boost converters, which we're going to show you in a future video, because the boost converters will actually work with radiant energy, which is very, very interesting. But for this video, body heat can turn a light on. Okay. Hot That's girl awesome. makes a light go on. Sort of hot girl. Sort of hot. Mega hot girl makes the light go on. <laughs> wow, Dan. I know. I have a special gift for oh Denise. Oh, my God. If you are looking for... TECs to hack from something. This <laughs> ah, there's well, this fire was, ads on here. Okay. This was something that we were I thought we were going to throw away because it wasn't working. A cooler. This is something that sat out in our yard. There these water coolers. <laughs> we bought this at a yard sale for like two dollars. And it didn't they, work. It it didn't work because it was full of mold. So we didn't want to run water through it. It's really hard to clean out. But right there is a fan, there is a heat sink, and there is a very large thermoelectric cooler on there. So if you find one of these at a yard sale... When you say very large, the one similar to the, the, the uh, one you were just looking at? It's pretty big. 
It's like bigger than the one that you just showed it's us. It's as big as this right here. Okay. But it is not a. This is a thermoelectric generator. Okay. The ones on here you can buy on eBay for like thirty or forty dollars. Oh. They work better for cooling. They pull like 80, 90 watts. Got little branches and stuff. <laughs> I right, get this out of here. Okay. Um. <laughs> now, thermoelectric coolers will work as a thermoelectric generator, just not as efficiently. You won't be able to like power a light with the boost converter. You will if you have a very large one and a very significant heat source. We've used many of them in series and in parallel before to get higher voltage, higher current, but the thermoelectric generators are different. The cost of these is dropping as the demand for them goes up. I'm all dirty too. Well, thanks Dan. I know, I brought eight bugs in. Let's say you have a furnace and it's very cold outside, you could stick a couple of these on the furnace and produce an electrical current to charge small things. You, I'll, we'll have links on where you can get these. Maybe they, we'll even have something off on our right side. Yeah, sure. Pretty cool. The nice thing about this is that you can burn just about any type of fuel and get an electrical current for emergency purposes. They come in different sizes, different so you, well, can somebody charge a flashlight? You can charge a flashlight. Okay. That Denise's body heat was producing about 5 volts. The ice cube difference with her body heat was producing 9.5 volts, which is enough to charge a 9 volt battery. Wow. Take a long time. There's not a lot of current there, but it does work. So we covered the thermoelectric generators. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. And I'm your host, Denise Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy your videos. All 12 volt coolers that you plug into a lighter plug in in your car are designed around that concept. <laughs> are, we, are we recording? We are now. <laughs> Get this out of there. <laughs> Let's say you have a furnace and you're cold, so you have. Okay. I see things a lot differently now. Much of my trash has been thrown away. No, treasure. Most treasure. <laughs> Understanding wife. Yeah, I try. I try. Anyways, 